You see here, I've got this, this mini ballistic shield. This is something that's gotten popular uh, here in the last couple of years. So like in the old days, as, you know, as a big full-time SWAT guy, we had like big shields, you know, where somebody would carry a shield and we have people covering them. Uh, now what they've done because of this sore single officer assailant response, they're making these shields really small. And I want to just talk about this one very, very quickly. So uh, the majority of these, they're ballistic rated, right, uh, to protect you against, uh, against rifle fire. So both pistol and rifle. But let's just talk about a couple of vulnerabilities of these things, uh, and you'll see right away. So first of all, uh, you know, I'm not a big guy. I'm a big runner still, even at my age. And so I do push-ups and pull-ups. And if i gotta <laughs> if I got to hang onto this with one hand for an extended amount of time, at some point, it's, I'm going to get tired. And so just think about that. If you're by yourself, you're providing this single officer assailant response, and you want one of these shields, you're having to hold this up. That's a long time to hold up if you don't know where the adversary is, or you're having to travel a long distance to get to that adversary. Another vulnerability with this is now what happens because I've got the shield in one hand, now I've got a one-handed fighting, like a one-handed right, you know, pistol or pistol position now because I've got my support hand supporting the shield or holding the shield, and now I'm going to be firing, firing hand only with the pistol. So a couple things with this, obviously I can still keep a close and ready, I can still keep the low ready in this position, I'm just going to be doing it one-handed. And man, you know, you know, it's a trade-off, right? Do I want a little bit of ballistic protection or do I want to keep both hands on the gun and, and have a better chance of hitting the target? So, and then when you engage the target, some things that now that you can think about, you can engage from out here, maybe bring the shield up and bring it up here to rest, which could be undesirable based on uh, factors we won't talk about today. So these are really, really cool. The problem is even with these small shields, again, they can get heavy. They offer limited ballistic protection as you can see, obviously, and now you have a one-handed shooting position with the pistol. And remember, it's about prevention, not response.